So then, we are back with a more understanding from the time of the second tabernacle services, known as tabernacling. And these documents are from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end, layered per Yerushiahu the prophet. We are during the time of the 61st chapter, where then after coming out of the thousand years of deceit, we find ourselves then understanding more and more regarding tabernacling. There are many factors of scripture usage for its own gain, where a lot of people they are very critical of other relationships and the such, saying that God said they should have a relationship with a man and a woman and so on and so forth, but God never said that. He never said a word. Firstly, because if you are thinking of God as the creator of the heavens and the earth, He spoke with the set apart. Gentiles are not set apart. So then, whatsoever those people want to do outside of the understanding of the set apart, they can do whatever they want. What was then the understanding from the time of a transition from the first and second tabernacle services? There was a transitional time where then Shaliak Shaul, known as Paul, but Paul is a mocking word. Paul means tiny in the Greco language. So they were making fun of Shaul every time he was talking. Oh, this is what you're talking, so it's tiny. So he became Paul, or Tiny. There comes Tiny explaining the scripture. So then, from the viewpoint of what the Messiah was explaining, was the whole understanding related with the set-apart. Shaliak Shaul, however, because they were set-apart from the Hebraic lineage of the lineage of Abraham, some of those people, they were in a relationship, but they were having family with pagans, or then Gentiles. But they were not part of the functionings when Ruach HaKodesh, known as the Holy Spirit, would come upon them, and they would begin then their quest of understanding functions. There are no gifts of the Spirit. Those are functions. Then Shaliak Shaul began explaining if they are interested in remaining as a family, Shaliak Shaul was giving them some roles or then some specifications how they should act while those people were functioning. That's it. Later, much later, then the cities were persecuted. This then after at least a hundred years after the ascension of the Messiah, then when the first holy cities became evident and active amongst the nations, <laughs> then later, as then the cities were persecuted during the time of Constantine, <laughs> then a scandalized scripture began to be more popular. That's where you get your standard scripture. It's a complete piece of junk it is concocted during the time of deceit. It was then mostly related because people were not paying taxes. It's a complete piece of junk. <laughs> Regular, in quote, Bibles does not even fit for lavatory use. Because it's repleted with junk. That's why there are so many fights around the world. Because it's a piece of junk. From the original manuscripts, however, we find then the Avrahanic lineage, or then the lineage of the Isaac, or the Itzaelic lineage of the second son. You find then the set apart, given a specific understanding as far as how they should act amongst themselves. The Gentiles are not included. There is another relationship when the holy cities are formed, and Gentiles then, they come to the gates for understandings, and they receive the functions from the set-apart, where then the Gentiles they do not function themselves, but they receive the understandings of the Spirit via the set-apart functions. So there is no reason to go around with the 
scandalize the scripture and banging people on the head because of it. From God's viewpoint, as far as it's beyond the set apart, if you want to be gay, be gay. If you want to be lesbian, be lesbian. He has no opinion regarding it. Because his relationship is with tabernacling, not outside with the world. <coughs> 